Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're going to be looking at how to clean your climbing rope. Cleaning your climbing rope is something all climbers should be doing on a regular basis, but let's be honest, we don't do it that much and it's quite hard to know exactly what to do. We've all bought that rope for the first time, brand new, shiny in the box, uncoiled it, and when you feel it, it's soft and supple. It feels great in your hands, it snakes around, it's fantastic in a belay device and wonderful when you're clipping. But however good our intentions are about keeping that rope in a climbing bag, not getting it muddy or wet, inevitably it will get dirty. And you'll start to notice a difference in the way the rope feels. That softness becomes stiffness. It's hard to feed through a belay device. It's very difficult to clip. And you'll notice that when you're belaying, your hands are suddenly covered in this black grime. And also, if you're using something like uh, Grigri, there's a grime sort of layer that develops inside it. All of this is from dirt from your rope, so it needs to be cleaned. Now, today we're not really gonna be talking about when you should retire your rope. We've done other videos for that, and I've linked one down below. But when you clean your rope, it's a chance to check out some of the damage or potential damage that might be there. Look for soft spots, look for furry spots. And generally, if you can touch the two sections of your rope together, so there's none of this hole there, then that's probably time to retire that rope. So cleaning your rope will sort out general grime, but there are some things that if you spill on your rope, you really shouldn't climb. Basically, anything that might eat it is obviously a bad idea. So gasoline, battery acid, bleach, anything you don't want to put on your skin, don't put on the rope. I reckon that's pretty good general advice. Okay, so how do you clean your rope? Well, you can use a sort of a mild soap, but it's much better to use something official and proper like this BL rope cleaner. Okay, so without further ado, let's go up into the Epic TV bathroom and find a bath. You can do this in a washing machine, but we're gonna go old school and use a bath to wash the rope. The water temperature should be warm, but not above 30 degrees. Place the rope in the bath, flaking the coils into it and let it soak for a few hours. Having waited, add the correct amount, which is displayed on the bottle of rope cleaner into the bath. Sluice the whole mixture around a bit and give everything a rub and a shakedown. Drain the bath. And rerun some fresh water. Drain, rinse, repeat until the residue is gone. Once the water is running clean, you can then use something like a Bial rope brush to ensure the last layer of dirt is out. We're not showing you one here because we want to keep this as simple as possible. You should see a real difference in how the rope looks, but before you use it, it needs to be properly dried. Ideally, you want to leave it flaked out in a warm area, but not in direct sunshine. It can be best to coil out the rope inside so there you go. We know the coronavirus is affecting people's movements, so perhaps now is the perfect time to give that rope some TLC while you can't climb. There are links to the rope cleaner down below if you need to pick some up. <laughs> 